Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Freezer Burns. As always, I'm your host Greg, the frozen food master, and you're joining me as I eat my way through the freezer aisle one box at a time. Today we are concluding Pie Week. Man, let's recap, okay? On Tuesday, we did a throwdown of epic proportions for key lime pie. On Wednesday, we did a cherry pie throwdown. On Thursday, yesterday, we did an apple pie throwdown, and today we are finishing off with this. This is a pecan pie throwdown. Edwards, Georgia pecan pie, $8.69 versus Sarah Lee pecan pie, $7.99. I'm ready to get these both out of the box, boxes. We're gonna get each of them out of their box. We're gonna put them in the oven, cook them just for about 20 minutes. I'll explain that a little bit later. I'm gonna get both of these into my belly. I'm gonna tell you which pecan slash pecan pie is best. Freezer burn starts right now. Here we go. Once again, today we are reviewing pecan pies. Now, the first thing I want to get out of the way, is it pecan or is it pecan? In fact, you know what? I'm going to just give you the question of the day right now. How do you pronounce it pecan or pecan? Is it pecan or is it pecan? We're going to go over first Edwards, Georgia, pecan pie. I'm going to go back and forth, pecan and pecan. Pecan pie with golden pecans in a flaky pastry crust. This is $8.69, it is a big pie. And uh, let's look at this right here. We got some gelatinous mold, jello mold-like pecan filling. We got some pecans on top. We got crust, we got a little dollop of whipped cream. I don't think the whipped cream is included, but we'll have to see. Now the other thing I want to point out is this is thaw and serve. No baking necessary. However, there is an optional thing, and I'll get into that because the Sara Lee one, is similar instructions. This is the signature selection Sara Lee Southern Pecan Pie, rich filling topped with toasted pecans, flaky crust made with real butter. $7.99. Now, if you notice, I did two other Sara Lee, full size Sara Lee pies this week, and both of them were in the $6 range. This one is an extra buck, buck fifty, seven dollars and ninety-nine cents. And this one also, I can thaw or I can bake. Okay, so let's get right into this cooking instructions. Okay, uh, this one here it says the pie is fully baked to serve, thaw, or or that's an option. Heat pie as follows. I'm going to heat it. Okay, and to heat the pie in a conventional oven, I'm going to preheat the oven to 350, which I've already done. Remove frozen pie from carton, place on baking sheet, and cook for 15 to 20 minutes. That's it. 20 minutes. None of this 55 to 65 minute business. 15 to 20 minutes. Now, the Edwards Georgia pecan pie uh, is very similar. I can thaw it at room temperature for three and a half hours or for a flaky crust. I can preheat that conventional oven to 350. Once again, it's already preheated. Remove pie from carton and then from frozen. 15 to 20 minutes. Identical cooking instructions here. And I'm gonna heat them both. I'm gonna get a flaky crust. I'm gonna pop both of these in the oven. And when I come back, I will tell you how it looks. I explain how it smells. I'm gonna get both of them into my belly. Welcome back. So as you can see, I have two pieces of pecan pie. Right here, we have the Edwards Georgia pecan pie. And right here, we have the Sara Lee Southern pecan pie. So Edwards went out on a limb. They said, you know what? This pecan pie is from Georgia. Sara Lee said, you know, I'm going to play it safe. It's just from the South. Okay. Now, when I took these out of the box, remember, both of them had identical heating instructions, 350 degrees, 15 to 20 minutes, a couple minutes to rest. And that's it. We're just warming it up and kind of crisping up the, the crust here. The only difference when I took these out of the boxes was that the Sara Lee one was a tad thicker than the Edwards one in terms of the pan and that the Sara Lee one has this little crinkled edge and the Edwards one is straight. 
Now, when I cut the pieces, they're about comparable size uh, pieces, um, they looked very similar again. Both of them covered with pecans on top. Um, both of them smelled kind of sweet, but not too sweet, and, and that's something I want to talk about when, I, when we get to taste. But when you look really closely, the Edwards one was individual pecans. And as you can see, when I cut the piece, certain pecans have started to kind of move around in different ways. Whereas the Sara Lee one, it, it looks like they roasted a whole pan of pecans and took that whole little plate of pecans, little like wafer, and stuck it on top of a pot. Um, the, there are some pieces of pecan here that are like breaking off, but the majority of them are just like melded together. So right away from looks and appearances, the Edwards one I give a, a little edge to versus the Sarah Lee one. In terms of uh, color, right, the Sarah Lee one is a little darker brown than the Edwards one. Uh, in terms of the actual pie filling on the inside, they look to be about the same. Edwards is a little redder in color. Now, let's get to the important thing. Pecan pie, really good uh, when it tastes really buttery and when it tastes not too sweet, but sweet enough, right? I don't want something subtle, but at the same time, I don't want something where I'm like, oh my God, give me a glass of water, give me a, a glass of milk, that type of stuff. So I'm hoping that there's a nice subtle, um, subtle is the wrong word, I'm looking for a nice sweet taste, but one that's not overpowering. I don't want something to feel like my teeth are rotting after I've been, um, you know, taking my first bite. Okay, first let's go with Edwards. This is the Georgia Pecan Pie. I'm going to cut off a piece like that. We get a nice thin crust, a good yellowish orange, almost like a cinnamon applesauce type consistency on the inside, and once again the pecans are a little uh, lighter in color than the other one. Let's see how this tastes. Wow. That's good. Ooh. Let me see what they got in here. Yeah, it doesn't really mention. Butterscotch. I taste butterscotch in this one, and it's almost too sweet. I'm a little concerned about that. The pecans are nice, they're glazed, they're um, not overly crispy, but not overly chewy, and that was a concern being that it was frozen. The uh, nut to gelatinous filling to crust ratio was pretty decent as well, but first glance, it's very butterscotchy tasting and um, a little too sweet for my liking. Take some water. Um, so let me try the Sara Lee and I'm going to compare the two. Okay, again, the Sara Lee one, a little yellowish in color. The crust is about the same. Um, the pecans are more glued together. Let's see how this one tastes. Okay, so this one, I pick up honey. Pick up a lot of honey. Um, definitely a butterier crust um, than the other one. This one is a lot more pleasing in taste, but not as pleasing in consistency. And that's really tough for me to judge, guys. I was really hoping I could get a clear winner, but honestly, they both have pros and cons. The Edwards Georgia Pecan Pie, right? This was $8.69. Great consistency. The taste is a little sweet for my taste. Um, I've had way better pecan pie than this. I've had it better in chain restaurants. I've had way better homemade, obviously. This doesn't come close to what a pecan pie should be. I give this a three star. Here's the problem. The Sara Lee Southern Pecan Pie. This one has uh, not as good consistency, but a better taste. And that's the problem, pros and cons again, right? I can't really declare a winner because I give this uh, Sara Lee Southern Pecan Pie $7.99. I give this a three star too. Both of these, three star efforts, neither of them can I declare a winner. If you're way more into taste and don't care about consistency, I would go Sara Lee. If you want something where it feels a little more authentic but maybe someone overdosed a little bit on the sweetness, go with Edwards, but Edwards is a little more expensive. So I can't really declare a winner here, guys. 
both of them I give a three star. This concludes pie week here on, on Freezer Burns. Doesn't mean I'm not going to do pies in the, in the near future, though I'm a little pied out right now, to be honest, after reviewing pies for four days in a row. We're going to give it a little rest and maybe review some pies later on, maybe next month or something like that. As always, I'm your host, Greg, the frozen food master. This has been another review, another throwdown by Freezer Burns, and I'll see you next time.